Dogecoin, GameStop, and Bitcoin Mania, the best memes reviewed. Hello lovely YouTube family, welcome back to Trending Central. In today's video we're going to talk about Dogecoin, GameStop, and Bitcoin Mania, the best memes reviewed. Before we start, I'd want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Business news pages and cable shows are dominated by fads be it Bitcoin, Dogecoin, or no fungible tokens, NFTs, and stocks whose prices are not tied to sober reflections about their issuers' prospects but rocket up and down based on internet-fueled speculation. There are so many bubbles out there that I can't even write about them all, says Susan Weber, an investment advisor who at Yev Smith tracks business mishaps and misseeds on her website Naked Capitalism. They're so loony. Have we reached peak absurdity in the financial markets? Among the drivers of some of this action are figures one can describe only as influencers. They include traders who can stampede herds of followers through tits and internet message boards, and also Elon Musk. The chief executive at Tesla Incorporated has more than 54 million followers on Twitter. Many are true believers of Musk's personal hobby horses, which include the near-term advent of self-driving cars and the populating of Mars as a second home of the human race. That the Merculous Musk tweets can whipsaw investment prices became evident in just the last few days. Late Wednesday, Musk announced on Twitter that Tesla, reversing an earlier policy, would not accept Bitcoin as payment for its cars. The announcement drove Bitcoin's price down by about 16% to 46000 in the space of two hours before it recovered to about 48200 where it sits at about of this writing, according to Coinbase. A few days earlier, a Saturday Night Live character played Musk, the show's host for the week, declared Dogecoin a hustle. The cryptocurrency whose creator had convinced it as the periodic glass on the Bitcoin, using a Shiba Una breed of dogs as its icon, has accumulated a mass of followers thanks in part to Musk's own tweet about it. Dogecoin probably lost almost 40% of its value. In historical terms, the public's fascination with new and untested investments isn't new. But it's hard to find a period in which so much interest has been manifested in so many novel instruments. Let's take a quick look at the leading manias of the moment. Dogecoin's dogs have been bettering the internet for more than a decade, and it's been 8 years since Dogecoin was founded. A digital currency that is favorite for all Shiba Inu. So what's the best meme ever Dogecoin, and how are we eligible on behalf of what the universe to make this decision, and the OD original dog is a Shiba Inu dog named Kabuso, who was rescued by an instructor in Japan in February of 2010, who posted some of her new pet's photographs on her blog Dogecoin was released as an easy to use clone of Bitcoin in 2013. The Doge has some use despite being considered a meme coin for the purpose of tipping, better contents on Reddit, and for the sake of the Doge community. Shortly after the start, scammers were able to rob 21 million Doges of Doge wallet users. The dog group banded again and succeeded in raising enough funds to repay the victims of hacking and half of 2017 Facebook users started to share or morph by their facial characters to become Toucan's Dragons and Spids. Elon Musk's excitement ensures that Dogecoin price doesn't only go to the moon, but even to Mars in the context and not only in the future of dogs, but the internet. And human civilization itself is represented in the best dogma member created because art imitates life and life imitates art. We can never refuse to explore the multifacted in a squadron of nice spontaneous rock and propelled Doge's someday GameStop. Just one week ago, a battleground for experienced traders on Wall Street and a band of inexperienced investors filled with common rage and wealthy dreams came to now-known video game retailer GameStop in August 2019. Gamester had its market app shoot up $25 billion on Thursday, January 28th, valued at about $300 million. However, its market value fell to about $6.5 billion on February 4th for its bananas and technical name using trading platforms free for commissions Robinhood helped to encourage GameStop to climb and fall. But it was not just the last few days that GameStop had followed Parabolet packs. A tiny bunch of darker stocks have witnessed traders using Robinhood and other web broker applications to beat Wall Street at its own spin and have been driven by similar boom and bust patterns. This is the story of the stocks of Mimic Entertainment Beluga Theater chain had battled over 12 months when its business were all devastated due to the competitive lockdowns and demands for social dissociation before collecting more than 900 million AMC spent millions of cash and flirted with bankruptcy to reinforce its Budge Blackberry once stole a line of eponymous cell phones familiar to people devoted to Crackberry and first made popular in the first administration by political advisor Karl Rove. By the late 2000s, the iPhone phone and other Android devices had made the Blackberry obsolete. The Ontario-based business water too swung in vain to the Internet of Things. Bitcoin Mania Dogecoin debuted on December 6, 2013 with Litecoin's basic code. A Bitcoin offshoot Billy Marcus and Jackson Palmer software developers wanted to build payment systems as a prank inspired by the meme of Shibu Inu Puppy which also goes back to 2013. The meme usually consists of an image of a Shibu Inu dog with a multicolored comic text without a script in front of the text is intentionally written in broken English, a kind of international monologue. 
Before the Aug 0202, it is about to become the year of the Doge, an internet-focused cryptocurrency based on the Shibu Inu dog with the command of English that is less than stellar. Thus dog and dog nothing was more acclaimed than Elon Musk's Twitter feed for this creation of response to Musk's Dogecoin-related tweets. The cryptocurrency market reacted quickly on February 8th, Dogecoin achieved a record high of 37%. Over a 24-hour period of 8.5 cents as Matt Levine, author Bloomberg's Money Talks column, recently mused the way finance works now is that things are valued based on their cash flows but on their proximity to Elon Musk. An NFT, as explained by colleague Sam Dean, is a digital certificate of authenticity for an object, real or virtual. The unique digital file is stored on a blockchain network in a way that prevents anyone from substituting a faked version. Thanks to today's frenzy for anything that seems new, some NFTs trade for many multiples of the value of their underlying object, which can be anything a baseball card, say, simply a video clip of an athletic accomplishment. Some promoters deliberately create uniqueness in an NFT by destroying the underlying object. That's what a performance artist calling for himself Burn Banksy did when he bought a print of the artsy Banksy for $95,000 and as a camera roll set it on fire. He then sold the photo as an NFT for $380,000 according to the New Yorker. Then there are meme stocks exemplified by GameStop, a money losing video and computer game retailer with 5,000 stores facing a bleak future as game buying shifts from physical products to digital downloads. Earlier this year, GameStop shares exploded in value as it became the lodestar for an army of small investors whipped into action by comments on the internet bulletin board Reddit. The idea was that the little guy could mark a victory over big investors who had been short selling the stock that is, betting on its continued decline. GameStop shares, which have been trading for a few dollars each before the mania was launched, reached as high as $483 before falling back. It's still trading at $150, at which level investment professionals who worked with traditional securities analysis believe that it's still ridiculously overvalued. Since short sellers lose money when the stock rises, the action costs the short millions, driving some of them out of the trade. The markets go through cycles of mania, panic, and crash, says Frank Portnoy, a business and financial law expert at UC Berkeley Law School and author of several books on investment fiascos of the past. It feels like there's a lot of mania in these markets now, and some of the reasons are consistent with other periods of history, but it's complicated because it's driven by investor psychology, so it's hard to disentangle how much of it is legitimate versus illegitimate. Unwary investors have always been vulnerable for being sucked in by dubious investment promotions, the 1920s, for example, featured the original Ponzi scheme, though which Charles Ponzi lured clients by promising returns of 50% in 90 days, perpetually from trading in international postal reply coupons, ultimately it was discovered that early investors were being paid for money staked by later clients. Perils are heightened during periods of technological and social change. After the completion of the first transcontinental railroad in 1869, Promoters exploited a mania for railroad investments by showering customers with stocks and bonds that had no detectable relationship to the value of the issuing lines. For all that GameStop looks to be insanely overvalued at $150 a share, one can make a case that the company could remake itself into an avatar of the video game market of the future and justify its current valuation. Far more impossible bets have been come true in the past. Looking back at this period and decade, Partnoid says, we'll see there was a lot of mania, but we might be surprised at what turned out to be valuable and what didn't. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you never miss any amazing video from us.